Amal Clooney showers George with kisses as she jokes about being resigned to life as a spinster at 35 before meeting her greatest joy in moving speech dedicated to husband at AFI Life Achievement Gala. Amal Clooney spoke for the first time about her husband George Clooney and their twins as the actor was handed a Lifetime Achievement Award by the American Film Institute at the Los Angeles Dolby Theater, the home of the Academy Awards, on Thursday evening. Taking to the stage, the 40-year-old human rights lawyer gushed over her beloved husband, as she stated, First, he is a gentleman. He is a gentleman in every sense of the word and in a way that seems so rare these days and perhaps even outdated before giving a stunning profession of their life and love. The 57-year-old gravity actor looked on with pride as Amal gave an insight into their life together, in what was a rare public display of affection for the private pair, as she confessed she had resigned herself to life as a spinster before meeting the superstar five years ago. Amal's professed, I met George when I was 35 and starting to become quite resigned to the idea that I was going to be a spinster. Then we met and started hiding out in my London flat and very soon it felt like, no matter what happened, I would never want to be with anyone else. I couldn't sleep when we were apart and I'm told that I would display a particular grin and head tilt when reading his text messages or the letters he would hide in my bag. Five years later, None of that has changed. He is the person who is my complete admiration and also the person whose smile makes me melt every time. My love, what I have found with you is the great love I always hoped existed. As the couple seldom discuss their private life, fans will undoubtedly be overjoyed to hear Amal's words about her husband while giving a nod to their home life, his vast achievements in Hollywood and his role as father to their twins, Alexander and Ella, who turned one the day before the bash. Her job as a wildly successful human rights lawyer has seen Amal speak in high-profile court cases around the globe, yet she confessed it was harder to speak about her husband to the room than to work a case in a court. She said, It's somehow easier for me to address a court on behalf of a detainee, than to speak publicly as I am doing for the first time tonight about my husband. I do so out of immense pride of all he has achieved. Here are a few things you may not know about George. First. He is a gentleman. He is a gentleman in every sense of the word and in a way that seems so rare these days and perhaps even outdated. Everyone who knows him, even those who oppose him politically or who have quarreled with him professionally, will tell you, he has not forgotten his Kentucky manners. On every set I visit, I'm told by crew that George sticks up for the most vulnerable. Of their beloved thoughts, she said, seeing you with our children, Ella and Alexander is the greatest joy in my life. You fill our home with laughter and happiness and that's even before the children have worked out that Dida is Batman, a talking fox, and friends with Mary Poppins. I'm so proud of you my love. Congratulations on this great honor that you're receiving tonight. I'm proud of you, but I also know that when our children find out not only what you have done, but who you are, they will be so proud of you too. Following them all, George took to the stage to accept his honor before being followed by his father Nick who was on hand to celebrate his son's glittering career and vast achievements. Amal was sure to look stunning at the event, as she swept in while sporting an exquisite pink gown with a slashed leg and a bardo neckline while she sashayed into the event on the arm of her tuxedo-clad husband. George looked dapper as usual in a black tuxedo and kept his girl close as they interacted with fans and made their way into the theater. In a moment of pride, before he took the stage, Amal planted a kiss on his lips. George's honor was in light of his endless input into Hollywood, which has seen him handed eight Oscar nods, before landing Best Supporting Actor in 2005 for Siriana and Best Picture Producer for 2012's Argo. The dashing star shot to fame playing Drive. Doug Ross on TVZR, before beefing up his acting credentials in movies including Three Kings, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Out of Sight, The Ocean's Trilogy, Michael Clayton, The Descendants, Up in the Air, Gravity, and Hail, Caesar. Atop his glittering acting CV, he has also directed films including Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, Good Night, and Good Luck and the Ides of March. His forthcoming project is a miniseries adaptation of Catch-22, which George will direct, produce and star in opposite Hugh Laurie and Kyle Chandler. With his 40 years in the business, George has naturally collected a host of showbiz friends from the heights of the Hollywood world, making for an all-star guest list at the prize-giving ceremony. Throwing support behind a good pal, 
Cindy Crawford, 52, arrived in an exquisite white gown while she was joined by her husband and George's business partner in his tequila brand, Rand Gerber, 56. Another one of George's firm friends in attendance was Bill Murray, joined by his wife Margaret Mickey Kelly, who starred opposite the esteemed actor in 2009's Fantastic Mr. Fox, 2014's The Monuments Man and 2015's A Very Murray Christmas. After attending George and Demol's 2014 wedding in Venice, Bill said, These two, it's kind of just miraculous that they found each other because they're so ideal for each other. People were very emotional about the fact that these two found someone. That really was the great part of the party. At the time, George revealed Bill gave a speech, saying, he gave a toast at our wedding that was so elegant and beautiful and warm and he's such a loving individual. And he's adaptable to any place, he goes. Everybody's life is a puzzle that's missing this one piece, and he fits in each time. In 1995, George Guest starred in Friends where he played Drive. Michael Mitchell alongside his ER co-star Noah while playing Drive. Jeffrey Rosen, who were dating Rachel and Monica, played by Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox respectively, before the date went catastrophically wrong. The Friends stars turned out to support their pal as Jennifer, 49, opted for a floor-sweeping black gown with an asymmetric neckline and staggering heels. Meanwhile Courtney, 53, also went with a black dress. One of his longest-running co-stars was present, his ER on-screen wife and the mother to his fictional twins, Juliana Margulies, 51, who chose a black gown which featured teal material and an elegant silhouette. The day before the ceremony, Juliana spoke on Good Morning America about the advice she gave him and mild tips of being parents as she sent helpful emails to assist. She said, he doesn't need advice from me. He's married to them all. She's a human rights lawyer. We had a little email exchange and I was just asking how he's doing and he said, I just can't believe there's so much poop. And I said, brace yourself my friend. They haven't even started eating solids yet. My husband and I used to call them sliders. They go up right up the back. Last year's AFI on Array Diane Keaton took to the stage where she humorously referenced George's relationship with Abraham Lincoln. She wowed in a funky black coat with a top hat and tough boots. Kate Blanchett attended looking glamorous, as she flew the flag for her co-star from 2006 as The Good German and 2014 as The Monuments Men. George previously said of Kate, I think of her as one of the two greatest living actors in the game. She and Meryl Streep. And I feel lucky that she was willing to do the part Kate and I did several years ago. Another former colleague of George came in the form of Laura Dern, 51, who opted for a midnight blue number with a swoop neck and undulating hem. She starred alongside a 1983 horror musical Grizzly 2. The concert. Laura previously described making the never released film as one of her favorite memories. She said, One of my favorite memories is George Clooney, myself, and Charlie Sheen made a movie in Hungary together, and they lost their financing, and we were stuck in Hungary for a month waiting for them to get their money back to either send us home or continue shooting, and that was an amazing, hilarious wild time. George's Oceans 11 and 12 co starred on Cheeto, 53 looked to be having a ball in a navy blue jacket and black trouser combo. Late night funny man Jimmy Kimmel brought along his wife Molly Ingrini Ernie. Multi-talented Dana Kendrick, 32, arrived in a very unique white dress that looked as though it was composed of wide strips of fabric. She starred with George in 2009's Up in the Air, after which she gushed over the star. She said, George was so nice. I didn't meet him until we were on set together. There was the first thing we shot together. We were doing a sort of walk and talk, and we were waiting to go, and he was like under his breath, do you get nervous? I get nervous. I was like, oh, my god. It was the smallest thing, but it, like, opened up my world. He probably does that for everybody when he can tell they're like, what am I doing here? I don't belong here. Just a couple of words from George and you are like, oh, my god. He's a person. I'm a person. We're the same. Live and Let Die star Jane Seymour, 67, definitely garnered some glances in her crimson gown, which had no shoulder straps and was an off-the-shoulder style. Perhaps one of the most unexpected guests was Pop Miley Cyrus, 25, who took the stage to serenade the guest of honor. For her performance, 
She donned a white linen shirt, black high-waist trousers and a distinctive black cap.